Pastor Jerry is of uh, NSPPD. What God cannot do does not exist. Maybe post. <laughs> and the post have got to be laughing since. He post to even half of the time when he be small picking. One woman for their company and the mama get problem. The two of them call fight. The woman God beat a whole man of God, mama. Okay, that I never be man of God. But future man of God. The woman not even sees it. This speaking is anointed. He beat him, mama. Nah, nah, that's a woman. Nah. Pastor Jerry is mother don't pass on, you know. That's a woman that nah. came to Pastor Jerry is to ask for help. The question is how did Pastor handle this matter? Let me show you this post. So yesterday I met a woman who beat up my late mom terribly. Anyone who knows me would know how much I adore my mom. I was young. And she was a young woman at the time, and we lived in the same compound. She threw my mom on the floor and hit her so hard. That memory traumatized me for so long. She showed up to see me yesterday to seek for help and ask for prayers and mentioned how NSPPD had changed her life. It's amazing how I extended help to her, and she broke down in tears. She remembered what happened. I remember too. Most importantly, I had forgiven. Forgiveness is so liberating. I know how it hurts. Please forgive. The Holy Spirit will help you. May God give you the grace to forge right now, to forgive right now in Jesus' name. <laughs> Percy beat your baba. Show your mama for God for your present beat up. Many years later, the person call ask you for help. Now that your mama now don't pass on, this person still will get right. He still get half their life. <laughs> he goes to come beat you for help. Pastor Jerry, no man, no man. We listen, we don't judge. <laughs> but you see this matter, we go judge her. Pastor Jerry, why now? Pastor, why now? Why you go give that? Why now? Why? Which guy forgive this that one? Why you go help that woman? Why? <laughs> ah! My mama. Where me, I can't relate. The mama when I get, now she they beat me. <laughs> you go beat for Maji. Who you be? Eh? See my mom? Every time I don't see my mom fight. Now my mom beats me. You didn't know my mom shot like that. If you owe you. <laughs> if you beat my mom, I go change my mom. My mom when I know. Yeah? You know that? Last year, me and my mom get one serious quarrel. Only last year or two years ago. As I don't beat like this, oh, me and my mom get one serious quarrel. I change her for her. I said, no, they tell me that I will not take it. My mom said, fall out. But we fight. I say, eh? <laughs> my mom said, blow. He said, I want set, I want balance this boy. I said, me. <laughs> In the way we want beat. Now me. <laughs> me. <laughs> now me go beat. You try away. Well, well. Anyway, Pastor Jay Rizzi was trying to teach on forgiveness. You see what he is explaining here. We didn't laugh about her. But it's one of the hardest things to forgive. For the love, it's not the woman's fault. He was a child. The two women were women. So now two fighting, two women, you know. One just get power past the other one physically. Not everybody's physically aggressive and can fight. Sometimes the thing will push you, which one may you fight. We don't know what one might have pushed his mother to the world. But seeing somebody do that to your mother, even though they are age mates, is not easy to let go. Then the person called who get mine can't ask you for help. We they use a laugh, but you don't know the level of help you would have asked from God to be able to scale through that issue. But congratulations, Pastor, you did it, you know. When you forgive people, a certain level of burden leaves you. And also when you forget to we say forgive. This is a you know, forget. The Bible never said forgive and forget. The Bible said forgive. You see to forget now, you know that one because me I go remember. I know if, if you forget, I'm saying no get sense now. They'll do you again. But you have to forgive, you know. Forgive the people, but don't forget. Because sometimes the lessons you learn from that issue that the people have done to you will shape you in decisions you want to make in dealing with other people, you know. But let things go. Sometimes you find out that you are holding a grudge for 10, 15 years. That grudge is doing more harm to you than it's doing to the other person. Try as much as possible to let this go. Congratulations, Pastor. You forgive and God bless you.